Hello, on behalf of Kentaurus Medical, I'm Greg Mead and I'll break words about the hand, especially carpal tunnel. This is a transverse view. We can see basically the transverse carpal ligament, uh, which is part of the flexum retinaculum. Uh, then we have palmar carpal ligament, which is more proximal and more superficial. You can see median nerve, which is beneath the transverse carpal ligament, and then the ulnar nerve is above. You can see the tendons. Uh, they are surrounded by synovial sheets, and they are designed to reduce friction between these structures. An ulnar synovial sheath surrounds the eight tendons of the flexus digitorum superficialis and profundus, and a separate radial synovial sheath surrounds the tendon of the flexor pollicis longus. Hand activities that require repetitive, prolonged or extreme wrist positions can irritate the tendons and their sheets. Because of the closed and relatively small compartment in the carpal tunnel, swelling of the synovial membranes may increase the pressure on the medial nerve. Carpal tunnel syndrome may result, which is characterized by pain and paresthesia in the sensory distribution of the median nerve. So, uh, if, if we have progression of the syndrome, uh, we can have muscle weakness, atrophy, and basically this part here, a thinner eminence, is provoked. So, persons with carpal tunnel syndrome often experience abnormally large increase in carpal tunnel pressure, especially during extreme wrist motions, including uh, if you make a fist and if you want to punch someone. So activities that create repetitive movement of the tendons and median nerve within the carpal tunnel, such as prolonged use of a computer keyboard. You know, these days, computers are quite bad for the carpal tunnel. Um, pressure has been shown to increase significantly when typing as well. And what we can do? Well, we need to stop typing. Alternative design uh, of the standard computer keyboards may provide a less stressful position for the wrist and thereby reduce the severity of this painful condition. So now I want to show you some references as well about the hand anatomy. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much. See you next time.